What's up YouTube Lord Xander here coming to you with another video. I know I did some quote uh, painting how it relates to 40k videos or painting black but now I have a special treat. All right so I'm cleaning out uh, like the study you know we're re repainting walls doing other stuff so I had to move my comics. So I filled up <clears throat> my uh, Honda Pilot with uh, my main set of comic books. So here we have 21 long boxes of comics. Uh, I got like Batman and Spider-Man, X-Men, Captain America, Fantastic Four, uh, Ghost Rider. I got Aliens, Predator, Terminator. I got all kinds of stuff here, but 21. So just check this out. Uh, like I said, I think my first comic book I picked up when I was nine, but as you can see, 21 boxes. So there's a, a stack of three there, so three, six, nine. Twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So pretty cool. Anyways, uh, so another special treat. So uh, at Walmart, you can buy these uh, you know, pre-packaged comic books I cut open here, so I won't be fumbling around on the videos, but you get a random set of comics for, uh, I think, I don't know what, 12 bucks or something. It's less than cover price, so it's a deal. So, but they give you random comic books. So here, Future State, <laughs> I remember that, DC Future State. Oh, so, oh my God. Okay, so uh, I would say since the year 2012, and definitely when 2016 hit, and a certain orange man was in uh, the White House. Oh my God, DC and Marvel Comics has gone down the toilet, okay? With partisan uh, political messaging. So basically it became political flyers. So one of the ways they can kind of get their stuff out there is, uh, you know, package it up and sell it at Walmart. Everyone goes to Walmart and buy stuff. So you get a uh, Catwoman Number one, a variant uh, by, I think, Schmidt. Okay, so now it's priced three ninety nine a cover. So again, I stopped buying comic books a long time ago because the prices kept going up and up and up and up. So your regular monthly issues for DC and Marvel titles are now, I believe, four ninety nine a copy, or at least three ninety nine. dollars uh, Let's see what else we got. Oh, of course, Lois Lane. Cause they had a, oh, of a 12 issue maxi series trying to make her a thing. Ooh, this is uh, the ladies issue, I guess. Raven, daughter of darkness, number 11. Another uh, set of, you know, mini series. Aquaman's December 21st. Oh, this is, I haven't opened this in a long time because I believe the first, uh, the DC Aquaman came out. Okay. And of course, Justice League Odyssey number 20. So this is, of course, Cyborg. An awesome superhero, uh, legacy character. And they give you a random poster in the back. Okay, so you have a Jim Lee, uh, black and white of uh, Apocalypse. So you have the Justice League bound before me of Batman bound, Green Lantern, The Flash, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Superman, trashed out in the back, all beat up. So yeah, so you get four great DC comic books and one poster for the price of one. Actually, I would say this was a, a ripoff because the only good one I see here is a, the Justice League Odyssey. This one, I believe it's probably a crappy issue. Maybe I'll review it later. Lois Lane, that was a trash series. I love Catwoman. Uh, all right, so back to this. So I have 21 long boxes. And then uh, walking over here, and my uh, Kia Sedona. I'm not going to show you the license plate here because I'll show you too much here, but <clears throat> I have 10 short boxes. So one, two, three, four, five. And five there makes 10. Let me just give you a little sampling of what's in here. Okay. Fear itself. That was a pretty good series. I liked it. Itself. Yes, when Captain America's shield was broken by Thor's brother. 
God of Fear and Death. The Fear itself from Dracula. Oh, well, Hulk takes on Dracula. That was pretty interesting. And then Spider-Man. Spider Island when basically everybody came to Spider-Man. A vs. X. Avengers. That was the second printing. Okay, Scarlet Witch. And then, of course, uh, the other Phoenix. Of course, Spider-Man where he gets beat up by Colossus. So A vs. X was a decent series. Okay, Uncanny X-Men. The more of a... Okay, and then this. Cloak and Dagger. Okay, let me be honest. These are my sister's comics. And she loved Cloak and Dagger. She actually went and bought a back issue. This is worth a pretty penny. Because this is like one of the earliest prints of Cloak, Cloak and Dagger from 1981. Again, no one knows who I'm, ta knowing who I'm talking about. Unless you're a Marvel comic nerd like me. Or maybe watch that crappy TV show that they had a while back. Before Fox that went under. Uh, to Disney. Yes, so these are hers. But since I was a bigger uh, comic book nerd. And I'll admit, I went back and I bought my own Cloak and Dagger uh, limited series for myself. But she she's three complex, so... I, uh... So boy, that. I remember we'd ride our bikes to uh, the local Circle K when the, way before the direct market because I think direct market was an abomination to the comic book uh, collectors because there used to be everywhere there used to be at grocery stores at, at gas stations uh, I mean I think they still have them in Barnes and Nobles I think but yeah there would be racks spinner racks okay, Batman comics on the series Batman Chronicles Batman. I think I have Batman 700 here, maybe. But anyways, Batman died and was uh, replaced temporarily by Dick Grayson. Yes, Batman R.I.P. Because uh, supposedly he got blasted by uh, Apocalypse's uh, Omega Beam and died. So a bunch of Batmans in here. Gotham Knights. And then yeah, Gotham Knights was a good series. Oh, I love this. This was like the bomb back in the day. Anyways, that's just a small little sampling, but I have literally thousands of comic books that I've collected. I started when I was nine. I think I stopped when I was like, well, I don't want to say how old I am, but older. <laughs> and, that's, and I'll leave it at that. Well, anyways, uh, it's a hot Texas summer day. And uh, I just wanted to show that real fast. But, you know, Image Comics, when uh, Marvel artists and writers rebelled against DC and Marvel Comics for getting paid poop, and they made their own comic books and, you know, gave uh, DC and Marvel bloody nose. But, I don't know, I think Jim Lee really, like, runs DC now. I think he's doing it pretty crappy job running it. I think he's a, they should have him drawing stuff, but that's just me. But, adventures in the DC universe. So yeah, I love all kinds of comic books. It's good. Azrael. And then I wish I could show you my first comic, but I think I have to move all these boxes around, but it's an issue of the Fantastic Four. Back in the day when they were like 60 cents on your shoe. But anyways, uh, this video is getting too long. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think of my comic book collection. This is, you know, like, i got a bunch of stuff that's unbagged and unboarded in my uh, study. But this is the bulk of it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.